Hi, welcome to the first part of Aquascaping 20 gallon long aquarium. In this part I would like to focus on a substrate. Many people ask which substrate is the best when growing aquarium plants. Inert like Eco Complete, Aquasoil or Dirt. I would say all of them are good because they complement each other. The first step is adding some more nutrients to the bottom layer. For that purpose I use Osmocote Plus. Second step is adding a natural minerals mined directly from the nascent volcanic ash deposit in Utah. The pH of azomite is alkaline, but added this way does not seem to rise pH of the water or soil. You can't really overdose it, however, I follow the rule that is better to add slightly less than too much. In the next step, I have to cover the bottom layer additives and for that I'm using Eco Complete. This inert substrate does not contain macro so it's perfect. It is also very porous with micro holes which are maximizing the surface for beneficial bacteria to grow and prevents anaerobic conditions allowing for better oxygen exchange. It also contains many of the micronutrients and trace elements that plants need. Now it's the time to use some macronutrients rich substrate. The dirt works very well. I use organic potting soil mix Miracle Grow Performance in a black bag with NPK ratio nitrogen 13%, phosphorus 2% and potassium 2%. Previously I was using Miracle Grow Nature's Care Organic and Natural in a green bag with NPK ratio nitrogen 15% Phosphorus 13% and Potassium 15%. However, the composition of organics was much more intense and lasted longer. Which is good if you would like substrate to last longer, although it needs much more extra work with water changes on the beginning. Another important but not mandatory thing is Bacter AE powder. It will add important microorganisms, amino acids and enzymes into your substrate. In addition, live probiotic bacteria improve the nutrient uptake. It helps to create a biofilm that bacteria feeds on. This will speed up organics decomposition of the organic potting soil and also creating beneficial colony in your substrate. Now something I personally started using not that long ago. Earthworms castings. Once the worms digest the organic material, it refines it. Nutrients are reduced to their most usable form. Worms castings has natural pH of 7.0. The biggest benefit of worms castings is that once added is introducing uncountable numbers of beneficial bacteria and microbes, as well as humic acids which also helps nutrient absorption. In order to keep more nutrients in the substrate for longer, I'm adding activated charcoal. This will suck up initial ammonia coming from the substrate through the first few weeks to later on give it all back to the plants through their roots.
You can also use bamboo charcoal. As a next substrate additive, I use black tourmaline mineral. Tourmaline has amazing abilities. Researchers say that it can have positive influence on cation exchange within the substrate as it works like an insulator. This is why electricity is less likely to be discharged and the surface remains charged. It also generates negative ions but in more significant amounts only when the pressure applies to it. In my opinion, for this kind of setup, fluval stratum or tropical aquasol is the best. If you will add too much nutrients, it will be harder to keep perfect water quality without additional water changes. But first, I need to build a wall for the sandy path going under the driftwood separating the substrate from it. Last but not least, the aqua soil. I'm using a fluval stratum because it has less ammonia in it and is easier to find it in the local store. However, if you are willing to do more work on the beginning, more water changes and wait longer, I would use ADA Amazonia, since it has more nutrients and humic and fulvic acids, softening the water even more. I'm adding more height towards the back of the tank. I was debating whether I should leave the aquasol on top or cover it with the layer of Aco complete. Stratum is considered quite light substrate and many people complain about keeping the plants in the substrate in the initial phase before plants develop the strong roots. Aco complete on top prevents it. To move the substrate around, you can use a paintbrush, spatula or just your hand. In the next part, I will be aquascaping with the rocks and adding plants into the aquarium. I would like to thank Rafał Dzierżanowski for the trimming from his 75 gallon aquarium, which I aquascaped and added the same substrate system, just without the dirt. Like and subscribe the channel if you would like to see more aquascaping videos. I also would like to invite you to visit my website plantedaquarium-chicago.com Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.